Hey guys, Kimberly here, and if you know me, you know that I love me some Trello. I have so many videos on Trello, and I think this is the longest that I have stuck with a follow-up system. If you know me, you know I've tried and tested a whole bunch. So I've stuck with it for five months consistently, and it has been the best system for me. I understand that there are so many others out there, but I wanted to share my results from making the switch what the switch is, why it's different than what most people are doing, and the results from that. So the first thing I wanna share is if you saw my previous videos about Trello, the lists that I had set up were list based on like first, second, third, fourth follow-up. As I started doing my follow-up, it really just didn't make sense to do it that way because I was having to move every single person every single time. So I switched from first, second, third follow-up to the month that they ordered in. So that way there's no moving of the cards. All you have to do is just change their due date. So in May, 2019, I completely stopped using my previous follow-up system that I used for an entire year. And I switched everything over. May 1st, started using my Trello system. Now before that, I'm gonna do some cutaway so you can see what I'm talking about. Before, from May going backwards, you can see that I was consistently getting between 20 and here it says 27 orders a month. One thing I like to do once the month is over is I like to document how many customers I had in that month. Now, if someone ordered twice, maybe at the beginning and then at the end, that to me counts as two people. That counts as two orders. So I count how many orders I had. And so you can see for like November, it was November-27. 27 is the amount of orders that I had in that month. Then I added a Google Chrome extension called Total Cards. And this lets me know how many cards are in each list. Now that lets me know, so for example, if in December there were 27 people who ordered, but now there's only seven cards left, that means I can take the difference from that and see how many people have been reordering. Now what you've been seeing so far, this is pre-Trello follow-up. So let me show you what it looks like now post Trello follow-up and remember the number of people who were in or the number of orders that were in each list was between 20 and 27. So let's move now from May to current. Do you see the jump? Starting in May, I had a minimum of 10 more orders a month. So 30 orders in May, 31 in June, 44 in July, 48 in August. Right now we're in September, I still have 10 more days in September and I have two more parties to go and I have 29, plus there's five people in pre-delivery, so that's 34 already for September and again, I have those two more parties. So you can see that by following up with every single one of your customers every single month, it pays off. Now, let me get to some statistics for you. This is my favorite part. From May until now, my percent increase in PRV, in my sales from this time last year, right? From May to September, 58%. My sales have increased 58%. It blows my mind, it blows my mind. So I'm a huge advocate of touching base, building relationships, and again, I said this in a previous video, this isn't, hey, do you wanna buy something every single month? It is connecting and building relationships with every single customer at least once every single month. So I hope this is enough like, just to get you thinking and if you have any questions, just, of course, as always, drop it down below in the comments. If you haven't tried Trello yet, I will put other videos down below. I will also link to my follow-up board that you can copy, you can steal, you can make your own. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to give you an update because, again, you guys know me and I like to jump around, but this one has been phenomenal. So I see no breaking up with Trello anytime soon. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, amazing weekend. See you guys later. Bye.